Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and Sherry. <laughs> if you always see her back. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Ranger Rob Country Living. And today we're, first of all, first, doing our egg run. And uh, we, we call it the chicken run. And uh, today we had breakfast and we usually make six scrambled eggs. But we had a whole five. bunch of, uh, well, five. So we had three giant eggs, which we knew were double yolkers. So we basically had a full breakfast with three eggs, <laughs> which was equivalent to six because of the size of the eggs. It was kind of interesting. It tasted great. And uh, we have actually are starting to plan out a new idea for the greenhouse and the garden. And uh, I'll share that with you in a minute, but we're going to take care of our chickens first. Feed them. Water, I think they're watered. And then get their eggs. Okay, guys, we're gonna check, see what we got for eggs in here. Oh my goodness, lots of eggs. Look at that. Holy moly. So, uh, apparently, we're feeding the chickens a while. And apparently, they're staying warm enough because I think all of them are laying. I think we're getting up to 10 eggs a few feathers in a day. A day. Right. And uh, for those of you who are new, which we've got a lot of new subscribers, on this side we have ceramic eggs. So every box has got one. one ceramic egg over here. So if you're wondering why we always leave one, it's because you can't eat them. All right, ten. Ten eggs? So far. Wow, look at that. Wow, I don't expect to get any more. We just cleaned out the... Uh, the house so this should be nice and fluffy in there and still a lot of poop man they still yeah they do make a lot of poop still but uh yeah we just clean that out put new hay in and uh it doesn't take long for them to mess that up and uh not it nothing in there yeah hi girls hi girls All right, 10 eggs today. We're gonna probably have to feed these guys. We got the five gallon water jug filled yesterday because finally it's not freezing. And uh, so we don't have to worry about water today. Then we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do with the greenhouse and the garden. Today, it's not too bad a day. We're gonna finish up the railings for the wiggle wire. You can see we just had some short spots. We have to cut them. Uh, to length and uh, install them. We have about four spots there. We have a couple more of these one by fours we, we did along here to make it nice and smooth and we've got a couple more. We had to get more lumber last week. We did and so that's our goal today is to finish this up. So all we have to do is wait for the day when we think it's the best day to put the plastic on. And then this is going to be totally different than what we said we we're going to do. Uh, we have discovered the wonderful world of hydroponics. Okay, we got a little wind again. I have it every day. So, yes, I was uh, saying hydroponics. And uh, why did we see that? Well, we've kind of studied it. And what's really bugging us is the cost of lumber and fill dirt. And uh, for maybe one third to two thirds cheaper, we could do hydroponics. So one of the things I'm looking for over here is this is where I want to do strawberries. And all I want to do is put rods into the ground, but I got to figure out where, where my uh, water system is. Um, let's see here. If I can find them. I thought, I was hoping they're not back here. Um, how come I can't find any of them? Let's see. Where's my water system? The reason I'm concerned about the water system is if I put hydroponic 
rods here, which I know it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, I have a watering system here <laughs> that I can't find uh, that I don't want spraying on the hydroponic system. Here we go, I think I found one. Nope. What the heck? All right, give me a minute. Okay, so I've been searching around here a little bit and I guess I'm a fibber, but a watering system isn't against the fence. It's out here. And uh, it looks like there's one right there. All right, so that's promising. So if I don't have watering systems against the fence over there, that'll work. So, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. All right, so we're starting to get some more of our boards on. Sherry's being our contractor right now. And uh, we also decided we had a lot of scrap wood. There's no reason why we had to do a full length board. So we just cut some shorter ones just to fill in the gaps. And uh, <laughs> and we got, we got a new uh, hand drill. And uh, so we're still getting used to it, but damn, it works good. Okay, we got all these extra spacers in. Now we're gonna take some of our uh, wiggle wire ra uh, rails here and measure these out and cut them to length and install the rest of them. We've got one, two, three, four, about four of those to cut. And then we'll be all done with the outside stuff for now. Well, kinda. Um, and we'll be ready for uh, plastic. We do need to put some wiggle wire lines uh, vertical too, so yeah. <laughs> we'll get it. Okay guys, we got all the spacers on, all the wiggle wire. We're ready to put plastic on. So really, it's going to come down to a, a non-windy day and we have to lock the dogs in the house. <laughs> yes. Because we got to lay out a big piece of plastic which we bought and uh, we don't want wind and so we're gonna I don't know what day we'll do it on but it'll be a day where we think the weather's best and we have time to cut the plastic the way we want so could be quite the adventure but that's important so anyway guys thank you for watching today please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it have a great day. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.